On some of our amp repair videos, we use a digital multimeter. So I thought I would, in this video, just explain some of the basic function functions of a multimeter. Uh, it might be helpful to some people. Uh, the one that I've got here is a Velman DVM850BL. It's a simple little multimeter uh, that you can get for $14, $15. Uh, it's not highly accurate, but it's uh, pretty accurate and uh, very easy to use and certainly of good enough quality for most uh, amplifier repairs. And the good thing is if it gets damaged, um, they're easily replaceable. You can spend lots more money on a, a multimeter. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is to demonstrate measuring current, voltage, and resistance. Some of the main things that you would do with the multimeter uh, in amp repair. And the first thing I'm going to do is to demonstrate measuring current. And I've set up a little circuit here. I've got a resistor over here in series. I've got a clip lead coming over to a battery connector. And then from the other side of the battery connector to the multimeter, one lead of the multimeter, and then from the other lead of the multimeter to another clip lead that comes to the other side of the resistor. So it's just a series circuit with the resistor, the battery, and the multimeter. And for a current measurement, that's what you're going to be doing is putting the meter in series with another circuit. So uh, to do this, you kind of need to know what is the value of current that you're expecting. And in this case, it's going to be about 40, 40 milliamps. And the scale is set up here for 200 milliamps, 20 milliamps, 2 milliamps, and then 200 microamps. And we want to pick a scale that's higher than the value that we're measuring. So in this case, it would be the 200 milliamp setting. And then I'm going to plug the battery onto the connector so that we have a source for the current. And if you can see, it reads 42.7. Uh, milliamps. So that's the way that you do it. Uh, if you had set it on the wrong scale, let's say you set it on 20 milliamps, you're trying to measure 40 milliamps on a 20 milliamp schedule or a setting, and it just reads a 1, so it's not going to read cor correctly. Now, if you want to measure, and, and we're talking about DC current with this particular meter. If you want to measure more than 200 milliamps, there is a 10 amp setting here. And to, do, to use that setting, what you need to do is to plug this red connector, take it out of this first position here, and they're labeled, over here to the 10 amp DC connector, and you plug it in there. And then I'll plug it back up. As you can see, it reads 0.04. So it's on the 10 amp scale, which is really large, and it, and it reads 0.04, which is um, if you move the decimal point over three places, it will be 40 milliamps. But you would use this for measuring larger amounts of current generally. I'm just using it on the 40 milliamp circuit here just for demonstration purposes. Now let me say one thing about using the current uh, section of the meter, you need to be careful when you have it in that position not to, for instance, put the probes onto a, uh, a 9 volt battery like this because um, in that case there would be no resistance in the circuit and you would have infinite current flowing at least for a short period of time and you could damage your meter. Okay, the next thing I want to demonstrate is just measuring voltage and to do that Look at the scale here, and the, this section right here is the uh, DC voltage. And it's a 9 volt battery, so we would set it to the 20 volt scale because that's more than uh, the amount that we're trying to measure. We're going to measure 9 volts, and we're going to use a 20, 20 volt scale. And then if we want to get the polarity correctly, correct, uh, we'd put the, the black on the minus lead terminal and the red lead on the uh, plus terminal. And as you can see, it reads 8.84 volts. 
So that's the way that you do a DC voltage measurement and there's scales all the way up to 600 volts or you can for very small voltages down to uh, 200 millivolts. So that's the way that you do you measure voltage and if you were going to measure AC voltage let's say you wanted to measure the line voltage in your house then there's a section over here and it's got volts with a little squiggly line indicating a sine wave behind it that indicates uh, AC volts 600 or 200 volt scale that you would use to measure that and it would be RMS value so if you measure your house voltage it would be 120 approximately 110 or 120 volts RMS that you would measure on that section of the schedule uh, scale um, now to measure resistance what we would do and I'm going to use this uh, 200 200 ohm resistor that I have here uh, again there's a scale down here this part of the scale that registers resistance in this case it's 200 ohm so we could set it on the 200 ohm scale and when I'm measuring resistance I like to touch the leads together first of all and verify that it's reading close to zero volts in this case it says 0.3 that's just the resistance of the leads just to make sure that the leads are uh, not broken and plugged in correctly and once I've done that then you place a lead on either side of the resistor and as you can see this one uh, reads 197.5 ohms of resistance uh, it's a 200 ohm resistance there's a little tolerance there usually 5 to 20 percent variation that it can be so in this case it's just a tad lower than the 200 ohm resistance of the uh, marked on the resistor uh, and so you can measure all the way up to there's a, a 2 mega ohm uh, setting that you can that you can measure also on the scale is a on this little red section of the scale down here is a continuity measurement and that gives an audible tone that's for you to measure um, on a lead that you have whether there is a connection between the two ends and on this case I'm going to use the clip lead this yellow clip lead connect one lead to one end one lead to the other you hear the tone you see the reading of zero that tells you that it it's not broken that it is a continuous circuit so that's the basic functions that you can use in the multimeter. Uh, there, on this particular multimeter, there are a few other functions. There's a, a connector down here where you can plug a transistor in and uh, actually measure the uh, gain of the transistor and also tell whether the transistor is, is good or not. And like I said, there you can go online and uh, pull up the manual for uh, on the Velman website if you want to read a about any of these things I've talked about or any of the other functions that the meter would perform. So thank you very much.